Final one. You get this right. I don't know who's Andy Murray. What? <laughs> I don't know who's Andy Murray. It's been a couple years now, but I managed to pass my British citizenship test. My friend Ellie though, have you taken one? Not yet, but I have to this year. Ah, interesting. How much more difficult could it be? Where are you from, Ellie? I'm from Italy. Italy, and how long have you lived in the UK? 10 years. So 10 years, almost 11 coming up next month, yeah. actually. 11 years in the UK. Can she pass her British citizenship test? I'm gonna be giving her a little test today to see, is it still as hard as I remember? Probably. And, and see if you can do it at home. This is part of a series. There's gonna be some other people hopefully to try it out. But since Ellie told me she has to take the test soon, I was like, oh, here we go. This is interesting, so. I haven't studied anything yet. I'd like to disclaim this. As a note, if you are someone that is hoping to get your British citizenship, basically you need to get the Life in the UK book and read it. When I passed my test and did my video, which I'll link above, I'd read it twice, took some practice tests and I did pass my first time, but the test, <sighs> I would say it's a bit dated. There are some things that I'm like, why do I need to know this? And some things where I'm like, oh, of course, Christmas Eve. So we're gonna see how Ellie can do at a standard test. Question number one, when is St. Patrick's Day? 17th of March. You did it. You're hey! a British citizen. <laughs> Congratulations. Starting off on a good foot. When did the Battle of the Boyne happen? Was it 1690? Was it 1695? Was it 1693 or 97? I think 1695. These are cruel because they're all within 10 years. So, so you're saying 95? Yeah. Oh. You know, James II, he wanted to regain the throne. So he battled that boy in Northern Ireland. All right, next up, one for one. What is the Mercury Music Prize awarded for? The best music producer in the UK and Ireland, the best song in the UK and Ireland, the best album from the UK and Ireland, or the best classical song in the UK? So I haven't heard of it. So it's definitely not the best song or best album. Because you're so researched in the music scene. No, but I think I would have heard of it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, so it's either a music producer mm -hmm. or classical song. Mm. And I'm gonna go for music producer. Music producer, <laughs> it's the best album actually. Really? Yes, it's awarded every September and uh, the Brit Awards is an annual event that gives yeah, uh, yeah, extended yeah, but I didn't range. know they give a... I've also never heard of this besides from the test. Uh, what was the main crop in Ireland in the 19th century? Hmm. Potato. Yeah. So far, you've Ireland gotten the really Ireland good. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of Northern Ireland. Northern of Ireland. Uh, now we have which British TV shows are popular in the UK? How I Met Your Mother, <laughs> Friends, Coronation Street, or The Big Bang Theory? Coronation Street? Bazinga. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> What an interesting question. I also, okay, it says British TV, because I was like, Friends is very popular here. Yeah, but it's American. They're You're all right. American. They're all American. It was the only British TV show. How many local authorities does the city of London have? Simples. 33, 21, five, or 15? 21, or 15, one of the two. What are we gonna go with? 15. How many London boroughs are there? Come on. <laughs> but I wasn't going for, I thought it was going to be like local council, police, this person. Like, I didn't think it was going to be like all of these. No, I knew there was 32 boroughs. And so I was like, oh, it's 32 boroughs plus, City assumably of City of London. Yes. Yeah. Which is uh, the Greater London Authority Mayor of London. Yeah. Oh, You've got to watch more Jay Foreman, clearly. <laughs> um, yeah. Next up, we have what were the Canterbury Tales about? Stories of people that were told to each other, Canterbury Tales about the King, Canterbury Life, or people fighting near Canterbury. Uh, the stories people told each other. Congratulations. I think that was quite a trick question. I, I, good job. It could have, it could, yeah, I know, I know what you mean, but not, it was like uh, just verbal. verbal stories. Yeah, yeah. When did Queen Victoria become queen? Oh. 1877, 1837, 1845, 1861. Ugh, numbers. You're good with numbers. Not like this. <laughs> it was probably 61. 61? 37. Oh, oh she... Wait, she became queen at the age of 18. She reigned until 1901, 64 years. Damn. I had no Damn idea. You, Vicky. Who led a team to clone a mammal for the first time? You gotta know this to become a citizen. Uh, Sir Ian Wilmot and Keith Campbell. Sir John, not Sir, John MacLeod. MacLeod. Isn't that the guy that makes that music for YouTubers? Uh, then we have James Goodfellow, Patrick Steptoe, and Patrick Steptoe. Ah, funny, because he cloned himself. I like that. And uh, Jane Torville and Mary Peters. All right, who did it? <laughs> is, that a, is that a spelling error? It's that him and himself, he like cloned himself, then he finally cloned a mammal, he was himself. I have no idea. Who led to clone a mammal for the first time? It must be a sir. So it's sir, sir, you're Ian Wilmot. That is an hey, incredibly woo, good. Woo, woo, woo. 
he got, must have been like knighted. He got knighted, point. but yeah. Keith got left out. Keith fuck off. He did he didn't get knighted. He was <laughs> bad just name. and Keith. Bad, <laughs> bad name. name. Well, first Keith Habersberger, come on. <laughs> my bro. Where can you find Boudica, the queen of Ich Iseni statue? Do you not know who Boudica is? Oh my god. Do it look like Kent, it? Portsmouth, London, or Suffolk. Boudica is a very important historical figure for British history. It's one of the first people you learn about. Well, I guess you can find it in Kent. It was London. I was I was gonna say London, but I was like, that's so obvious, and I've never heard of this statue in London, so I was like, it's not that. Where is it? It's Westminster Bridge near the Houses of Parliament. Oh, good. So if you didn't know, Boudicca is like the earliest uprising against the Romans. She burned Londinium to the ground, which was, Lon was Rome. Rome had uh... built Londinium. She came there, burned to the ground, and then went up against Rome, who annihilated her in the first battle and went <laughs> off. But she destroyed the whole town of London, so. Heat? Yep, there you go. Next up, we've got, when did Britain become separated from the continent? 8,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, 6,000 years ago, or 4,000 years ago. Wow. I don't think it was in the last couple years. Um, we did Brexit recently. Oh, yeah. 4,000 years ago. <laughs> you could have put 4,000. <laughs> no. Okay. I feel like that's the <laughs> least Brexit. believable answer. No, 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 no. 10,000 years ago. I would guess 10,000. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I, was, I just can't imagine 2,000 years before Jesus. No, absolutely England not. was attached. I, I was saying Brexit is 4,000 years ago. Oh, feels that way. How old do you have to be to buy a lottery ticket I just or worked, a scratch card? I just worked on a lot of commercials. Did you? I should know this. At the end, did they have to say like, you must be at least 18, 21, 15, 25? I think you need to be 18. Yeah. You are doing really well here. You were able to get one more wrong and still pass. Yeah, we've got a lot of questions. <laughs> yes. So, well, easy one. Who's William the Conqueror? Who's known as him? Was it William the Duke of Normandy, William the Duke of Edinburgh, William the Duke of France, or William the Duke of Lyon? Lyon in front. La no, Lyon is spelled with a Y. Oh, that's true. This is Lyon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, William the Duke of Normandy. Oh, oh I, I almost at misclicked you. I'm so congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I just accidentally went, oops. <laughs> No. You fail. Okay, when was the Magna Carta established? Uh, Easy um, pie. 13. Oh, really? You know this one? I think so. Yeah. Wow, 1215 Magna Carta, which is essentially the UK's version of a constitution. It was like the first ever one we worked on, I believe. Next up, we have what is the divine right of kings? We have reduced the power of the king, increased the power of parliament, the king was appointed by God, or reduced the power of the nobles. The king was appointed by God. You are killing it. We're oh, going to get that yes. citizenship. Hell yes. I hope you're all doing well at home. Some of these have been pretty good. Uh, who built Hadrian's Wall to keep out the Picts? We have Sutton Who? We have Emperor, Emperor Hadrian, Hadrian, Henry Hadrian, or King Alfred the Great. Emperor Hadrian. Well, who is the emperor? Where did he live? Rome. Can, wow. Okay. Yet again. <laughs> Italian immigrant. You understand the Roman history. Uh, which of Henry VIII's wives were executed? I'm expecting oh, to put your fingers yeah, out yeah. here, ready? We have Anne Boleyn, Catherine Howard, Anne of Cleves, Jane Seymour, you get the names. Do you know the rhyme? Yes, Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard got executed. Okay, give me the rhyme though. I don't know the rhyme. You know the... No. But you know it's those two? Yeah. Because okay. I know that both of them got executed, so I was like, So just Ooh. for future, every child in the UK has to learn this in school. You have divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. Yeah, of course, he killed everyone before the last one. Well, yes, but it's still, it's divorced, beheaded, and then she died naturally, and then divorced, beheaded, survived. And that's how Brits in school learn about their king. That's something that's really good to know, I guess. Yeah, positive, nice um, stuff. Next up. We're doing very well. We've now got a little roll here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven in a row. What was billed? The English language, clearly not. What was billed as part of the UK's celebration of the new millennium? Oh, easy, easy. Tower of London, Eden Project, Big Ben, or the London Eye? The uh, London Eye. So it was built uh, as a celebration of the new millennium. I know there's the Millennium Bridge and there's the O2 that was also built. For uh, the yeah, millennium. the O2, which used to be called. Oh, is it the Eden Project? No, I'm saying the O2, which used to be called. The Millennium Dome. Yeah, 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 don't you know? Do you know what the Eden Project is? No. I do because of a Tom Scott video. It is a, a place, I think in West Country, where they have all these different plants. Oh. Lovely. No, I think it's the London Eye. Okay. I, I also, yes, correct. I, I was really scared you're going to change your answer to Eden Project. I was like, it's plants. It's plants. <laughs> um, all right. What was the population of the UK in 1998? Oh, yet again, not a bad one. 40 million, 50 million, 57, or 60? 50 million. 50? Because I want to say we're now, we're now 60 million, right? Mm -hmm. So 
it's in the last 20 years, it, I feel like 10 million with immigration and everything makes sense. Mm. Oh, 57. And here we have, wow, no, it's not, it's actually been not too fast. We had over 4 million in 1600 mm. and then it's gone up quite God, a bit. God, yeah. Jeez. Oh, that was a rough one. You went with one of the two good answers, to be fair. Yeah. What were the refugees that came from France called? Were they the Cavaliers, the Huguenots, the Jacobites, or the Roundheads? Also, if I'm laughing, laughing, that's not because that's not the right answer. It's just because I think it's a funny word. Uh, so Jacobites and uh, Huguenots were the Huguenots were like due to like. I'm assuming this is helping, maybe, but I actually do not know what the answer is. But I have an inkling, but I actually no, don't I know, know. I know. I'm trying to figure out like. Huguenots? Huguenots? Yes! Yay! That's, I was like, France? That looks French to me? No, because I remember I remember Huguenotti in Italian. That's the translation. I was mm. like, I remember they were from France. Oh, you learned about Huguenots in school? Yeah, 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 we do. I didn't learn about it until I read this book. Uh, so the Huguenots were French Protestants from the 16th century who fled the French Catholic government. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a re religion thing. I remember that. All right. Which play was written by Shakespeare? Okay, Hamlet. Are, are you sure? What about... Uh, French... Come walk with me? <laughs> Come Fly With Me, which is that TV show. <laughs> That's uh, right. a horrible TV show. <laughs> it aged so bad, but Understandable. for British culture. Uh, Matt Lucas is funny. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh my gosh, you might do this. Bonfire you know Night, that yeah. You can't have any more wrong, but you're very close. When is Bonfire Night celebrated? We have the 28th of- 5th of November. Why? What's the rhyme? Uh, remember, remember the 5th of November. Correct, which is a weird rhyme because the 8th of remember November also rhymes. <laughs> and the 9th and the 19th. <laughs> It's silly. Either way, we're in the home stretch, Shelly. How is the new year often called? Grammar, so strange here. In Scotland, Hogmanay, New Year, New Year's Eve, or Second Christmas? Scotland. Think about it. Hogmanay? Oh my God. Oh my God! <laughs> we're down to the final one. You get this right. I don't know who's Andy Murray. What? <laughs> I don't know who's Andy Murray. You no, you have to. You no, have I know, it's a tennis player! It's a tennis player! Thank you, Luke! You did it! <laughs> you did it. You got 75% correct. You need 75% to pass. Congratulations. You're now an honorary British citizen. Oh my god. However, some of these tests are much harder. Yes, we <laughs> it is a very big grab bag. You can have some easy questions like this one, or you can have some which ask you more years, or for instance, I'm just gonna give you some of my favorites that I had to do and people in the audience. Congratulations, by the way, big congrats. What's national flower of Wales? It is. Do you know any of the national flowers? Yes, I do. Rose is England. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the daffodil. Correct. Hey! <laughs> That's one of my favorites because first people go, you have to know the flowers. And I'm like, yes, we have to know the flowers. I was going to say dandelion, but it wasn't dandelion, but it's also yellow. Yes, thistle and then shamrock. According to the Life in the UK test, you know what the national food of England is? A tip, it's not fish and chips. A pie? No, it's actually roast beef. Oh. Surprising. In Italian, we call it roast beef. We call it roast beef. Roast beef. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. You passed your citizenship test. Tell me in the comments how you did. Uh, Ellie, when you, do you think you're going to read the book then? I kind of have to. Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> I think, think you, you, you got by the skin of your teeth on this one. I, I feel like it's going to probably be just as hard as I remember, because some of these questions I was still a bit flaky with. I haven't read it in two years, but definitely a good idea to take a few practice tests and or reread it. Um, is it as hard as it used to be? Yes. yes. Is it incredibly dated and not necessarily useful to anyone in Britain? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think it's just one of those rites of passage they have these days where at least know all the BS facts about the country you're gonna yeah, move in. Know about when the Tower of London was built and stuff. You can know that and then use it to win pub quizzes as a new citizen. I like pub quizzes. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you haven't seen it, I did a video on all the recent updates to the UK immigration law. Very sexy content, I know, but this is my niche. And if you want, you can uh, click one of these two videos here. Anyway, thanks Ellie for coming on and I will see you guys next Sunday. Goodbye. Bye. One more thing. If you want to pass your citizenship test, you better frickin' do your best or you'll be hit with a missile. Scotland's flower is a thistle. I'm not taking the pistol. <laughs> Thank you, subscribe, bye.